Arcadia 10 program, we always draw in the sheet of the model. At the bottom of the screen, we have the model, layout 1 and layout 2 tabs. There may be any number of sheets of paper in the project, but there is always one model and this tab cannot be removed. The printout can be made from the model, but there will clutter the drawing with additional unnecessary elements. It's better to use sheets where we add such items as a table, descriptions that will be repeated on each printout. We turn off the 3D view. The project manager window will also be turned off, but it is still needed to determine what will be visible on the printout. We go to the Output tab, then select the Page Setup Manager. We add a new page, calling it as we will, but we recommend entering a name that will inform us about the scale, size of the sheet, vertical or horizontal orientation. We cannot give a colon in the name, so we have to describe the scale in a different way. The information about the printer is always displayed. We approve this message. We choose the printer. We choose the format of the sheet. We define scale as one to one, thanks to which the sheet will be taken over according to its settings. In the print style section, we define whether we print in color or black and white. Remember that having a black and white printer and printing a color design on it, we get a printout in grayscale, which can be unreadable. In this case, it is better to automatically replace all colors with black. We have to decide if we print with line thickness and what is the layout of the page. After confirming the settings, we indicate the page as current. We close the window and the sheet has been modified. This is our sheet of paper. In contrast, what you see with an additional mesh is what will be printed. It may happen that not all of the sheet will be printing or we will introduce several separate viewports with, for example, different drawings of one project and different scale settings on one sheet. Therefore, we adjust the print area manually to the page. Before we change the size of the print area, we will enter the View tab and we enable the Properties window, which will help us in determining the size of the print area and its position on the sheet the part of the sheet on which not the print area will not be printed. The modification was carried out manually, so it is not an exact setting. If you want to specify the size of the area printouts area, you can set its height and width in the properties window. To precisely determine the print area, we specify the center of the sheet area and enter it in the properties window. After defining the sheet, we move on to a very important thing, which is setting our drawings on the sheet. If I choose the offset option, as you can see, we move the entire sheet, not the view of the building. Similarly, by using the mouse wheel, we zoom out or zoom in the entire sheet. You cannot move only the view of the building. In the status bar, it is written P layout 1. P is for paper, 
and M is for model. If you click on it with the left mouse button and you can see M layout 1, which means that now the mouse wheel zoom out or zoom in on the content of the sheet. Moving also does not move the sheet, but moves the view of the building. Therefore, I can set the view to the right place. If the grid underneath the view disturbs us, although it will not be printed, we can turn it off now. We need to block the sheet. So either double click on the gray background of the sheet or in the status bar on the M layout one. Again, the mouse wheel and offset will work on the entire card. Remember to work on the sheet in such a setting when the status bar we have is P layout one. We select the viewports, the area to be printed, and in the properties window, we define the scale. If we want to print a project in the scale of one to 50, we divide one by 50 and enter the result in the selected field, but only if the project was made in millimeters. We convert the print into millimeters if we were drawing in centimeters, and by default, Arcadia is drawing in centimeters. We have to multiply the result by 10, or enter 0.2 in the scale field. Now we should define what will be printed. In the project manager, we choose what we want to print. For example, here I have a light source. I do not want it on the printing, so I go to the project tree and I turn off the light bulb for the light source. Similarly, we do the same with cameras that we do not want on our view, but we need dimensions, which I have already done. If a piece does not fit, then it is best to go to the model tab and move the dimensions accordingly. We can also enter them again if they have not been edited and changed too much. we can still see the elevation lines. We have to turn it off, but first we need the group, we add the group to the cross section line and move the elevation lines to it. Then we turn the group off. We can also disable the view anchor, although it is not printed by default. We can enter a table and descriptions. We use elements such as line, polyline, rectangle, and of course text. You can copy the data or a table from another document. We can choose the text, for example, from the start or descriptive ribbon. After calling the command, we indicate where the text will start. We give or confirm the angle of the text entering, and we enter the text. Then, if necessary, we place it properly in the table. An important thing to set up before printing is the insulation that protrudes from the wall by default. Since the program does not have automatic line scaling, 
which depends on the scale given by the user in the viewport properties, we must enter the line scale exactly the same as we entered in the properties window. After entering the LT scale command and confirming it with enter, we have to enter this value. Remember that in a value you should not enter a comma instead of a full stop, because only a full stop is a separator between values. After approval, the insulation will be reduced. Now click on the main button and select Print Preview. If we use subsequent sheets, we proceed with them in the same way. If we are going to prepare a cross-section for printing, we switch to the cross-section tab in the project manager and we switch off those elements that we do not need, for example, listings or section frame. If we have overlapping views, we can switch to it and turn it off, although it may be better to spread these views apart. To do this, we switch back to the model tab we switch to the right view and by grabbing the handle, we move it. Remember that moving views, whether it is a view or a cross section, is always done with its handle. We can mark the handle in the project manager window, which is sometimes easier than locating it in the view, among many elements visible. In a cross section, the handle is always in the lower left corner so you can just click on the drawing and move the view. If we select the elements and select the move option, only the elements that we see, in this case, the front wall of the building, will be selected. The back and inner walls are invisible, so they will not be selected. This means that we will only move some of the elements, that is, we will mess our project. We go back to the sheet of paper, we can modify the names of the tabs so that we do not have to look through them one by one to find the right sheet. If we already have a table entered in another sheet, we select it. On the edit ribbon we choose copy with base point, show the base point and enter it to the next sheets and modify only some text such as the name of the drawing or number. We can check the print preview. If we want to add another view sheet, we copy the first one, we give it a name, after switching, we have a view like on the first sheet. We will only switch to the model and move the drawing so that we can show the appropriate level. 
before we do this, however, we will switch to the model. We click on the model tab. Being in the model view, we can introduce more views. We click on the plus icon in the project manager window and select insert view. We show the place of its outline. On the first view, only the ground floor is visible. We have everything on the second view, but we'll change it in the project manager. We turn off all levels and we turn on only one level. If some elements are not needed on the view, then also we'll turn them off. So we go to the tab of the second sheet, we switch the view and we move the drawing. All other settings are already done. Only a few descriptions in the table need to be changed.